This video is brought to you by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative people like you and me. Some classes that I think you might enjoy are the Illustrated Lettering class by Gemma O'Brien and the Color Masterclass by Victor Ngai, who I am personally a huge fan of. The class that I am currently following right now is Illustrating Flowers and Arranging Bouquets in Photoshop by Dylan Merzrinski. Now lately I've been drawing a lot of flowers, so this class is oddly appropriate. One thing that I like about the class is that she talks about the structure of a flower and how to break it down into simple shapes. Now Skillshare is specifically made for learning, so that means there are no ads, so you can stay focused and they're always launching new premium classes so you can explore whatever it is you're feeling creative about. So it's 2021 and what better way to start off the new year than picking up a new skill. Now the first thousand of my subscribers to click the link in the description below will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium. Explore new skills, deepen existing passions and get lost in creativity. So we went to the aquarium to, to hang out and draw. The weather was lovely. Um, you know, the sun was out shining and not a cloud in the sky. And overall, just a really good day to be out and about. So the initial plan was to bring our sketchbooks there and draw live. But you know, because of the current pandemic, uh, we weren't allowed to hang around uh, these places, the aquariums for too long. So there wasn't a chance to just put our stuff down and sit down and draw these fishes. So we had to settle for uh, taking lots of pictures and drawing after the fact. So the first thing that really caught my eye was this seahorse aquarium, this tank. And I don't know, seahorses are just so weird and cool looking an alien that it just captures my attention a lot and then all these weird creatures that you find at the aquarium um, they're just really cool inspiration for design and here you have one of the uh, centerpieces of the aquarium which is this really large cylindrical tank with a bunch of um, I guess tropical fish and it's just really cool being able to you know, walk around it and, and you know, change your view, I guess, and, and discover all these little different nooks and crannies where fish swim in and out of. It's really cool because you get to, I don't know, kind of make your own story based on what you see. Another thing that caught my eye, which was kind of unexpected, are these sea anemones and corals. It's not something that I normally pay attention to whenever I look at fish at the aquarium, but lately I've been on a flower kick and, and anemones are kind of similar in terms of their structure and patterns. It just was really striking to me and I didn't realize how cool looking they were. Then we walked over this tank, which is one of my favorites. These are white alligator guards, and they just look so striking against this background. Did they look like something that could have come out of Tolkien or some white dragon in a fantasy setting? Then we move on to one of the coolest sections of the aquarium and that is the jellyfish section. Now, those of you who know me, 
know that I really like flowy organic shapes and jellyfish are just like the epitome of that and I could look at these all day. So here is the main attraction of the aquarium and that is the manta ray tank. Um, the manta rays in there are, are really impressive, like look at the size of that thing. It's like the size of a coffee table and it's just really really cool to just stand in front of it and take it all in. There's so much to look at, so many different fish and rays. And here's a tuna, which is probably my favorite fish in this tank and highly underrated. I think tuna is super cool. Usually we would be able to sit in front of it and just hang out, but we couldn't because of the new rules put in place. Um, next up is one of the most striking tanks I have ever seen. Um, this one is just filled with the most colorful, stunning looking fish that I've seen. And it's just amazing just looking at all these patterns and color combinations that as a designer, I would have never thought of. And then finally, we have the shark tank. I'm really sad that we weren't allowed to just stand to the side and draw them. Um, it's really, really fun to be able to draw something live in front of you and, and to just practice that observational skills. But we'll just have to settle with taking lots of pictures and videos and bringing them back and drawing. <laughs> 